Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report on the credit crunch and what it means for us here in New Zealand. Two things, high interest rates, but secondly, credit rationing. And today we saw a major increase in the level of credit rationing. Sovereign home loans, which is owned by ASB and which provide loans through brokers to often people who are seen as slightly riskier than your usual borrower, it has decided to tighten significantly the lending criteria for property investors and for subprime borrowers. Sovereign says it won't lend any more for 80% plus home loans. That's 80% plus on loan to value ratios. There will be no more so-called low doc lending for more than 70% loan to value ratios. Low doc lending is where people don't have the proof of a salary. Often people in a small business or a self-employed they go for low doc loans. There'll be no more low doc loans for uh, uh, loans of more than 70% loan to value ratio and low doc loans will not be allowed to be topped up for any more than 70% home loans. All low doc loans from Sovereign now face an extra 100 basis points margin. So essentially the price has just gone up by a full 1%. There'll be no low doc lending for builders, real estate agents and property investors. It wipes out a whole bunch of people who previously borrowed low doc loans from brokers. Also, all low doc loans must pay lenders mortgage insurance. That wasn't the case before, before those people who were lending less than 70% loan to value ratios. And there'll be no more open ended bridging loans. Secondly, GE Money Home Loans has dropped its two year and three year mortgage rates. It too serviced this low doc subprime part of the market. So there we go more credit rationing. That's one of the pieces of fallout from the credit crunch. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.